Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Rex. I'm Daniel. He's a level 3 Whiskey Sommelier. He's a level... 1200. Well, you are 1200. No, no, no. I'm... Are you still 1200? What's 1200 well, 1201. 1201. 1201. This, yeah, made it one. So, uh, the levels rise up on a 24-hour basis. But no, how many, ever, like, however many whiskeys I get. Oh, okay. Yeah. So but you time... dropped, you dropped, t uh, 3,000, or like 4,800 in one because shot. Because I gave away an entire bottle. Horrific mistake. Yeah. You're going for a high-level moochitude. All right. You never give away whiskey. You so only, you've got, you only take whiskey. If we go by the whiskey. Mm -hmm. You got a couple of years to get back to five thousand. No, here's the thing. I just need to really get an incredibly rare whiskey <laughs> or that people would give their yeah. left arm for. Yeah, and then, and then, then it drifts. Drift crap out of that one. Dramatic. Yeah. yeah. Uh, All right. Fair enough. So Any predictions? Today we are trying uh, wild, turkey. wild turkey. Forgiven. Forgiven. Yes. yes. Not the movie. No. <laughs> oh. Okay. So, like a mortal wound and you're dying. That's your prediction. Yes. We're dying. It's like a horrific battle. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Wild Turkey Forgiven. Mm -hmm. Now, some people were unimpressed with this. It was priced so high because it was a, a mistake, supposedly. Right. And uh, people were a little disappointed that what went in the mistake might take away from the availability of what used to be the core components of this whiskey. Now what happened in the story mm -hmm. is, while mixing together some whiskeys, they accidentally mixed in an all rye, four year old all rye barrel into the six year old bourbon barrels right. that they were mixing for a, totally by accident. They dumped a shitload of rye so into the bourbon. Story, but yeah, maybe the marketing department. Well, the accident happened. And so, in theory, he goes in there. They go like, "Oh no!" And we're all going to be fired. Here's what we did, and he tastes it. Right. Master Store tastes it and says, "Yeah, actually, I kind of like that." Right. And so they bottle it as because my job's on the line. Yeah, I think this is amazing. They bottle it as wild. Turkey Forgiven. Now his job's not on the line. Oh, that's, that's a good, a good name for the story. Right. Let me ask you about Wild Turkey because uh, as somebody that's not really deeply involved in the industry and the brand right. and the reputation and all that stuff, Wild Turkey to me, it's like, ah, oh, it's oh, just I kind know. of... No, is this... this yeah. It, that's okay. Yeah, so give me like, some Wild Turkey. Right. It's, gonna, it's what you drink while they pull the bullet out of your arm. Right. Yeah. No, it's the lowbrow <laughs> yeah. kind of just, yeah, down I get and that. dirty. Yeah, I okay, get so, that. So it, my... Perception well, is right. It, your perception is right, as in that's a common perception. Okay, but it's at what is it? Yeah, actually, better quality lines. Than yeah, that? no, it's a great whiskey. Okay, it's as good as any uh, budget line when you get the generic wild turkey. Yeah, it's as good or better than any budget line you'll find. And their um, upper level stuff can get really good. Yeah, and wild turkey's not all they do. I can I say this? I've never had any wild turkey because of that perception. Eh, well. What you're gonna learn in these is there's no such thing as a bad whiskey. Yeah. There's just whiskeys you prefer and whiskeys you don't prefer. So our job just became completely obsolete. You don't need to watch these. Yeah. Crap. Yeah. All right. There are some bad whiskeys out there. No, we had a good run. And it's our job to find run. them for you. Basically, the the big climactic conclusion. Yeah. You just drink what you like. There are whiskeys we are going to crap on though. <laughs> We've already done it. Yeah. There's one coming yeah, up. I feel bad. There's whenever. one coming up that, oh. I feel bad whenever the people that make the whiskey are like, hey, guy. You should try this. Right. It's like, eh. They're like, oh, this is so bad. <laughs> There's one coming up. It's from a distillery like to... 10 miles down the road from us. I'm a little hesitant to review it because I hate it so much. That's friendly. That's smooth. Right? Yeah. So this is 76% six-year-old bourbon mm -hmm. and 22 or 78% and then 22% four-year-old rye. Hmm. Yeah, that is smooth. Not dream. Let's say it's not super, super complex, and uh, it's uh, what are you getting in there? What's weird is I just got bubble gum, like big league bubble Holy gum. Holy crap! There's bubble gum. <laughs> <laughs> you I mean, ruined this whiskey for me. I know, right? Remember the big chew when you got in yeah. the packet with the strips? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I loved that stuff. I knew it. As, <laughs> I knew it as bubble tape. Oh, I loved bubble tape. Mm -hmm. Ah, we had so much fun with gum when we were kids. They don't do fun gum these days. Yeah. See, I was about to make a political joke, but <laughs> yeah, don't do it. 
<laughs> so good. <laughs> mm. Mm, well gone. So my dad, this is the kind of story you tell with wild turkey whiskey. Mm -hmm. My dad one time, I think it was in high school, and he spent a summer uh, shredding fields with a yo-yo. You know what those are? There's a real name for them. I They're know, the sickle-shaped blade right. on the end of a hoe handle, and you swing it back and forth to cut grass. Okay. Sounds like a ninja weapon. Yeah, shunk, shunk, shunk. And it's a uh, East Texas summer. Mm -hmm. And he's cutting grass with a hoe, basically. Mm -hmm. And he's on this crew, and they all chewed. And he didn't chew. Mm -hmm. And they all, uh, he decided he wanted to try to fit in, so he went. He went and bought a can of big of the chew, and he emptied it, and rinsed it, mm -hmm. and he took a, he took a, the um, what do you call them, Tootsie Rolls, yeah, and he shredded them with a pencil sharpener, <laughs> into into shavings, <laughs> and then he filled it, and then he keep it in his back pocket, right. and he's like, so after that point, I just take some out and <laughs> pack it in. The Tootsie Rolls. And then, you know, he spit. It's just Tootsie Rolls. He's all, yeah. he's all every once in a while. I just swallow it. <laughs> and they're all like, whoa. Yeah, that guy's hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think Tootsie Rolls. You know, those guys probably drank wild turkey. Yes, no, those are wild turkey guys. Tootsie Rolls <laughs> have been around, I think, since around World War One. I. I Somewhere. Like, really? Yeah, early 1900s. -ish. All right. And they well, never go bad. You can get with a the name like Tootsie Roll. You can, get a, uh, you can get a Tootsie Roll from that era. So you store them next to your Twinkies. It's just as good as a brand new Tootsie Roll. So if you set up a bunker with with Tootsie Rolls and Twinkies, yeah. Pop Tarts, yeah, yeah, all Here's good. A, there's a 74% chance that story is accurate. Yeah, <laughs> that's a very accurate statistic. So what would you be doing while drinking wild turkey? No, no, no we haven't talked about the whiskey. No, I mean, here's I mean, I, I stopped at bubble gum. It's bubble gum. <laughs> Uh, but it's, there's, you know, it's smooth. It's friendly. No, this is a very friendly whiskey. Now I lack the experience, like like Rex does, mm -hmm. with Wild Turkey and the variations of what's coming on, out of mm -hmm. there, uh, to have a true AB comparison. Let me ask you this: If you were just given a glass of this, would you say this is something other than bourbon? All right, hang on a second. I'm about to clear my. Yeah, because the whole story with like the rye and all that other stuff. Right. If somebody just handed me this, I was like, "Yeah, hey, try this bourbon." I was like, "That's oh, some smooth bourbon." I don't know if I would pick out. I would definitely say yeah. that's more rye than not rye. Really? Oh yeah. At the very least, I would say it's a high rye bourbon. Uh, the rye is dramatic. I mean, it's all anytime you get clove, you mistake me for a sommelier. Anytime you get clove I and drink, spicy, notes, I just drink this stuff. It's my only job. <laughs> You're always gonna find rye in there if you're like, oh, this is spicy. In any level, yeah. this is spicy. Because remember, we've tried the pure corn bourbons. And I, don't candy remember, corn. I don't remember those. We tried the um, the baby blue. Refresh my memory. Candy corn. Yeah, I'm not gonna refresh my memory because it sucks. I hate the baby do blue. It, do it with something. Sorry, different. Balconis. It's the one thing that you've made that I just can't handle. I'll handle No, it. that was the one that we tried and you were like, oh, my wife would like this. Oh. You remember? Yeah. Yeah. Did I get in trouble for that? Was that the one where I got? You might have gotten in trouble for that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I right. haven't like bugged your but, living room or anything. Yeah. What, uh, <clears throat> as far as you know, this is a whiskey for. Here's the thing. It's not the pulling the bullet out of the arm whiskey. Oh, okay. But it's too friendly for that. You know what? You got. You need a little band aid. <laughs> you just need a little band aid. You got a boo boo. Is it like maybe? A <laughs> Is it like maybe a cartoon character band-aid? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you, need a, like a, you, need a, you have a you have a wound like that a requires Transformers band-aid. Dora the Explorer. Ah, <laughs> that's Dora. <laughs> You're getting a Dora the Explorer. How do you know Dora the Explorer? You have two boys. I have three children. Yeah, um, but I can see when your girl grows up and not to no, watch Dora. But when the kids are young, well, we're getting off topic. But anyway, anyway, yeah, you get a little boo boo. You, you really want to like get through that pain. A little of this uh, smooth. Wild turkey, forget it. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, if you get a bullet, you gotta upgrade, but. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you got a boo boo. Mm. <laughs> it should put on the bottom. It's for boo boo. It's for boo boos. But then they'll think, hey, boo boo. No. See, we just. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and a picnic basket. <laughs> uh, see, he's not actually drunk, he's just that much of a dork. Oh, and that's definitely true. That's what's happening. All right. Well, till tomorrow, I'm crazy. Stay this side of legal. May you return before we have time to miss you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>